Hey there fellow toy car collectors. As you can probably see by the title, Carded Cars. Now, I did say a few videos ago, quite a while ago, I had stopped collecting. Well, that wasn't really true. At the time, I didn't have enough money. I did, however, find some cheap ones and some other ones. It seems at the moment prices are up and down, but like I say, at the moment, I've got some money, so if I see ones that I particularly like, I will grab them. Anyway, I'm going to show the ones that I grabbed because all of these are ones that I particularly fancied and liked. So, first of all, we have the custom 67 Pontiac Firebird Zamac edition. And it is a Zamac because I actually posted this on the Race Screws community. It is the custom 67 Pontiac Firebird a Zamac? Someone happily replied, Yes, it is. So, I had to go and buy them. These actually, these cards here, uh, came from Milton. An old stomping ground where I used to go and collect uh, before, again, we uh, before my dad's company or my dad's where he worked uh, went bust and he had to get a new job. So that used to be a regular for me, but I haven't been there for a while. But now, ooh, might become a regular sort of like uh, looking ground. Anyway, next we have the Bone Shaker with closed roof, I should mention. So that's one of the closed roof editions. Pretty cool model indeed. Very nice to have. I always like Bone Shaker. The Baja Bone Shaker is a bit better though. Next we have the Fiat 500. Non Treasure Hunt, thankfully, this time. Uh, I haven't seen the police version, or if I have seen it, I never picked it up. But yep, there is the Fiat 500. Pretty cool car. Cool little model. I do like the new version of Fiat 500. Uh, and the new VW Beta as well. They did quite a good job on that. Next we have Bump Around, I think the 5th or 6th colouring, I love this vehicle because it's so cool to have, it's a cool little vehicle, I'm glad they make it, uh, this is the Fun Park, so it's a pretty cool model to get, I do like that one, it's one of those more amusing models, it may be a peg hanger, but, next we have the Custom 01 Acura Intriga GSX, with Boosts Brigade on the side of it. I picked this one up because I didn't actually see it last time and I saw it this time and I thought, ooh, that's fancy. Love the skull and crossbones on the top. Absolutely cool, cool model to have. Very nice indeed. I do like that sort of model. Next we have uh, Stingrod 2. Sadly, the uh, weapons on the back are unfortunately gone. I mean, it is a shame that the weapons on the back there have gone. But, I mean, again, it is sort of like um, a shame. But I suppose, really, that's a piece they had to separate. I mean, it's a cool model. I mean, it's still pretty cool. Even upside down, it's still pretty cool. Yeah, in case you haven't got it. Yes, this is the treasure hunt. Surprised that was still there, actually. But it was there, so I'm happy. Uh, I think this is the last one from Milton. There's the 2013 Hot, uh, Hot Wheels Chevy Camaro Special Edition in black. This one's really cool and fancy. Let's have the 50, I think 50th. Yeah, Camaro 50 because it's celebrating 50 years of the Camaro. Really weird to think the Camaro came out in uh, 50 years ago. So that would have been 1963. It's really that long ago. You, you don't think of it, but yeah, it is that long ago. These ones came from this next lot. These came from Ely in um, Sainsbury's. £1.16 each. That's how cheap these were. And there was quite a few. Thankfully, I was able to grab quite a few. Uh, I did um, sadly have the old pound coins on me. So I wasn't able to spend them. But, like I say, got them now. So, this is Turbo Rooster. Uh, this is the Year of the Rooster car because it has a uh, year of the rooster tampos on the top you can just about see them there 17 still a pretty cool model to get one that i didn't have and one that looks pretty cool actually next we have uh i don't know milando the well basically the um uh, guardians of the galaxy volume 2 model now this is the one with the clear base on it apparently there is a second variation with the blue base, uh, blue, blue base. 
I did see this in Milton, but because I already had this model, I thought mm, there's no real point in having it. It wasn't until someone showed it on the Race Grooves community that it is a variation. Now, is it a case of that's the first issue and the blue base is the second issue, or vice versa? Or is it just a case of they ran out of uh, clear plastic, so they started using light blue plastic? I don't know. I'm just happy with one model. That's one that was on my want list because it was really cool. I do like the non-staticky ones, the ones that basically are literally purely don't not good for the track. Speaking of the Baja Bone Shaker, here is the Baja Bone Shaker. It's uh, fifth colour incarnation, I think, in this teal blue or green, depending on how the camcorder or your mobile or video device picks it up. It's still pretty cool, though. Like I say, the only one of these I'm missing is the first variation in the uh, black. Really missed out on that one. Next we have Fandango. This one has been going for so many years now. Unfortunately, it has now lost a bit more weight due to the fact that it is plastic. And it is kind of a shame there. Still, it is nice that they have the huge top uh, still in metal. And yes, this is another treasure hunt. So, yeah, I was quite happy to find two treasure hunts in two different places. Very cool model to get. Uh, next we have Head Starter. Saw this one, I think, on the Race Grooves community. I know it's had the second colour in green, which looks to be very Lotus colour, actually. I'm wondering if Lotus might have endorsed it, but here it is. This, of course, is the one with the uh, head... I think the head moves. I'm not 100% on that. Hang on. No, it's just literally... It's just literally sort of like a cartoony version of... I think an original 1950s um, racing car they would have had because they did have that sort of engine in the back could be 50s could be 60s either way though very cool to get and the final car for the day is the Lamborghini Viento now I had to have this one because ooh that is a nice green it's also very cool looking indeed I mean look at it that is absolutely gorgeous if I had a bit of camera I'd probably buy two of these and crack one open I mean, I can't crack one open now, because, like I say, I haven't seen any more of these. But, yeah, these ones cost me £1.16. Uh, they were from the um, Ely branch of um, Sainsbury's. Tesco's had none. They had their bin, but it was empty. Kind of a shame. But, yeah, I'm quite happy with these. Uh, quite a nice pile. Does it mean I'm getting into the collecting again, or does it mean I'm getting out? Yeah, I think I'm mostly collecting what I like. Again, the car boot sales have now ended, so I'm now sort of like basically not picking up as many and like I say all the loose ones here are the ones I've found out through most of the last few months, just barely these ones are only a couple of months old, but like I say I mean, the thing is the fact that I'm not quitting 100%, it's just I might buy them every so often it's if I can find them, because the problem is the fact that usually sort of like in the UK, we bulk buy a load of stuff. So it's a case of the stores will bulk buy a huge selection of, like, one case. They'll then dispute that case out to various places, but won't reorder until all those cases have gone, or they're pretty much very low. Hence why if we do get a lot of peg hangers or a lot of um, dump boxes, then basically we won't see any new models for six, maybe even eight months plus when they order another load in. And by then, it's like a case you've missed like about six or seven models. Problem is, though, is the fact that they were cheap. I brought them because they were cheap. Those ones, I'd seen them before. Uh, I think a couple of weeks, uh, about a few days before. And I wanted to know about the Pontiac, so I went back there. Did miss out on one, though. There was a 55 Chevy. Um, yeah, it, was the, it was the yellow with the purple flames. I actually thought that was a K-Day exclusive. It was gone, sadly. So perhaps maybe someone else thought it was a K-Day exclusive as well. But again, I'm not too mad. I got the basic treasure hunt. No super as of yet. And like I say, I haven't seen any supers for a while. I just I just don't bother, really. I say, I'm always checking, but unless I know what the super is, I don't know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'm waffling on now. I will see you next time.